It is the start of year two, boys. Year one didn't go as planned, like we said um, in previous videos, but uh, year two, I have a good feeling. So again, just going over the lines before we start simulating some year two months here. First line is looking like Eric Stahl playing with Malkin and Jake Gensel. Uh, Jason Zucker playing with Crosby and Kasperi Kapanen. Brandon Tanev will be playing with Mikael Granlin and Jared McCann. And then Brian Ross with Jankowski and Teddy Bluger. On D, we got Pedersen with Latang, Hamannick with Matheson, Joseph with Marino. So I'm excited to see how Joseph will do this year. Third line minutes. Um, he is 22 years of age. He's a depth defenseman, top four. So hopefully we get his overall up where we can throw him up here um, with Hamannick. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. And as of now, the starter is Casey to Smith. We went with him last year, and I think. Um, I think he's gonna do well for us here. So if we see that things aren't going well with him in that Tristan Jari will always get a shout in net. So uh, we just got to simulate through the preseason here. We'll see how we do there And our first game is against the Kings, which is interesting. Uh, we should actually edit the trade block here. Um, we'll keep Eric Stahl up there. We'll keep Rust up there. Uh, we'll take off Tanev, take off Weber, take up Connor. I kind of want to see what Malkin will uh, interest any team. Uh, he's got a year left. Um, I think he'll be interesting to have on the block. I think after the first month, I want to see what kind of trade talks this guy can generate. He's got a year left. I don't know if I plan on signing him after this year. Um, it would be cool to try to win a cup with him this year, but if we can get something for him, that'd be great. Um, Malkin, and I think we'll just leave it at that. So our wants is a, uh, a great question. We want a forward. Uh, a, a first line guy would be great to get back from Gino. Um, so we'll do that. We'll do another forward, um, but this time second line. Um, anywhere from 17 to we'll do like 22 to 40. And then we will do a defenseman. If we can get a top four defenseman, um, that'd be absolutely huge. So I think that's pretty good for the most part we're also going to throw on the first round pick if we still have it this year which we do uh, again we're trying to win a cup so our first round pick is eligible for trades and we will throw up our 20 do we have our 2022 second round we do so there we go that's all good to go now like i said um if we can generate some big trades um for um, Evgeny Malkin, we might pull the trigger now. I do want to try and win a cup with Crosby and him one more time. Um, but with that being said, if we can generate a good price for him, then we're going to go for it again. We'll wait for a couple months, see how the team's doing. If it's a season where we're tanking, we're going to trade him away. If not, we keep him and, and we run with it. And then we try to sign him and then maybe move him next year. So uh, let's go to assign the scout. Uh, actually, everything looks good here. I don't know if we have to really, um, if we really have to change it. Find prospects. Uh, we'll do skaters early first round. Or we'll do like late first round uh, for the entire season for that guy. Okay, so I guess that's good. And uh, so we went perfect in the, yeah, we went perfect in the preseason, but that doesn't really mean much. We're here at the start of the season. Uh, the team is ready to go, to say the least. Let me just make sure Casey to Smith is a starting net minder. We will probably sim through three months of this video. We'll do it a month at a time just to check in with the squad. So, um, yeah, let's simulate the first month here. See how we do. First game, we win 6-3. A nice 5-2 win. All right, not too bad. A nice 4-2-0 record. Um, we'll continue with that. And, okay, we're taking a bunch of L's. Come back with a win. A nice 8 nothing win. So, at the end of 1 here, we are 7-5-1. That's okay. Uh, we are in 5th at the time, being tied for 4th with the Blue Jackets. We're 1 point behind the Devils and Flyers. And 2 points behind the Hurricanes. Gino, we're talking about trading him away. He's leading the team in points with 15 and 13. Looking at the team here, uh, doesn't look like any overalls have gone up. Um, Joseph is at an 81, so I kind of want to try him out there. Um, yeah, I mean, we can work with these guys at an 81. Latang went up too. 
Um, hold on. All right, so if we do that, if we put Joseph playing with Latang, Matheson with Hamannick, and Marino with Pedersen, it works. Um, I kind of want to leave Joseph on the top pair, let him develop. Uh, in one month, he went up, what, two or three overalls. Um, in 13 games played, two goals, two assists, only four penalty minutes. Pretty good. So I, I definitely do like that Latang is having himself a season as well. So good stuff from there. Looking at Casey the Smith, he played four games that month with two wins. Um, okay, not too bad. And then Tristan Jari played majority of the games there for some reason, um, even though we don't have the assistant coach uh, editing our lines for us but it is what it is not a bad first month let's go ahead and simulate the second month here uh ooh, okay we are in a string of l's here um not what we like to see that is for sure but we're stringing together some wins so that's good to see let's continue winning here back to back l's we get a point out of one game there which is nice and okay december 1st okay so at the end of two months we were 12 9 and 4 not too great uh, we are in fifth, still tied uh, for fourth with the Islanders. Uh, the Jackets are right behind us, so are the Capitals. It's a race in this Metro. Crosby now leading the team with points, uh, 26 and 25, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. No overalls went up here. On defense, Joseph still at an 81. Um, he got three more goals this month, which is nice. He's a minus four up on that pairing. Uh, maybe we go back and switch it to where Joseph plays here just so he gets that plus one We'll let him develop there. It just kind of sucks that we can't get him on the second pairing there It would be interesting to see him there. It just doesn't work out for some reason So we'll leave him on the third pairing for now um, In terms of a goaltending Tristan Jari 19 games played nine wins and 902 save percentage not the greatest and uh, yeah, Casey the Smith has been the better goalie. If we can just keep that, that'd be great. Um, and you know what? With that being said, I do think it's going to make sense to throw Tristan Jari up on the trade block. Because um, I think Casey the Smith is the guy we're going to go with here. So we're going to try this out. We're going to try the uh, trade finder here. So Tristan Jari, he is a starter. Um, let's see what we can, what kind of trade trades this guy will get us here so the Bruins offering us picks no picks 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 and picks okay so nothing good I do want to check not that I want to trade him away I want to see what kind of trade talk Evgeny Malkin would get and no trades to be found okay interesting interesting stuff but what we will do we'll take off that second round pick we will put Tristan Jari um, on the trade block see what kind of trade interest he maybe um, gets us um, but we do need to be better. I'm not a fan of the record. I'm not a fan where we are in the Metro right now. So we'll sim another month, see where we are after that, and reevaluate what we want to do with the team here. So I think it's pretty simple as that. We are on a little bit of a winning streak here. So we do like to see that. Um, we do not want to do that trade. Um, not that either. Uh, we are on a huge winning streak. Hold on. Hold the phone. We will count that up once this month is done. What a month from this team. We were on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 game winning streak until we lost to the Leafs. And, uh, wow, a 10 game winning streak now puts us at 24, 11, and 4. Um, we are currently in first place in the metro what a month from this pittsburgh Penguins team 52 points we are leading the metro um the hurricanes are right behind us by two points we are um in third in the entire nhl which is very nice evgeny malkin had himself a month he now leads the team with 46 points in 39 games good stuff so Definitely going to reevaluate what I wanted to do. Jake Gensel, I believe, went up in overall. Um, this first line is absolutely popping. Um, any overalls that went up here doesn't look like it. Joseph still at an 81, um, but he is now a plus three when he was a minus two last month. He's now at eight goals and five assists, so that's pretty good for a third pairing there. Chris Letang is no longer in the minus either, so I don't think Joseph and Letang really worked uh, when that was happening there. But good stuff from this team. Tristan Jari, 903. I don't know why they're playing him more than Casey DeSmith. I really don't. I, I wish I can, you know, say this guy is the starter. But anyways, uh, a very good third month. Maybe we will simulate it one more month. Um, I usually like to do three months at a time. 
We'll do, no, you know what, we're gonna, yeah, we'll do one more month. One more month, I think is fair. All right, simulate one more month here with these Pittsburgh Penguins team. Hopefully we have another great start um, to this month as we did last month. Uh, we are taking a bunch of L's, but we are stringing together some wins here, which is very nice. We are on a little bye week now here, uh, which is okay. And at the end of four months, we are now 30, 15, and 6. Good stuff from this Penguins team. We are still leading the Metro. We are still by, uh, ahead by uh, two points. Uh, we are... Uh, second in the entire NHL, which is very good. Malkin with 53 points in 51 games. Again, he's just having himself a season. Um, it's a contract year for him, man. Um, if we don't trade him away, because I don't think we will, we're going to try to win a cup uh, with these two, obviously, um, who are tied in points, which is crazy. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what his asking price is going to be next year. He's 35 years old. Um, maybe we bring him back for a year or two and then maybe uh, we uh, spice up the trade talk. But he's having himself a season. So is Jake Gensel with 52 points. Um, pretty good stuff from this team. Um, in terms of goaltending here, Tristan Jari um, has been playing majority of the games this year. Um, so that gives him the reason to have a lower save percentage. He's 69-5, which is pretty good. Um, no shutouts. Casey DeSmith is 14-6-1 with two shutouts. So, again, I want Casey DeSmith to be our starter. They're just not giving him the starting minutes for some reason, um, which is interesting. Looking at the lines here, no overalls have changed. Actually, I think Malkin went down one overall. I swear he was a 92 last month. I could be wrong, though. Uh, on defense, Joseph is still an 81. I love checking in on his progression. Don't think he put up any points this month, uh, but he is still a plus 2, which I like to see in that third pairing, and Crystal Tang is still a plus 8. Um, and Marcus Patterson is really working out with Crystal Tang, so that is very nice to see. Um, Hamannick is a plus 30 on this line, and Michael Matheson is a plus 23. So, in all honesty, we're going to keep the decor the way it is because they're just pretty much playing well together, uh, which is nice to see. But yeah, that's going to be it for this gem mode video. It's a bit of a shorter one, which I do apologize. We went through four months. Next episode is pretty much going to be wrapping up the season in year two. We got the trade deadline coming up. So with that being said, if you guys have any potential, um, I don't know, I guess we're going to look into f to some more depth pieces uh, making trades like we acquired uh, Mikael Granlin last uh, trade deadline uh, in year one so if you guys have any suggestions of players that we should bring on to this team if we should keep or trade Gino in my opinion we should keep him for the season let me know in the comment section below but that is it for today's video if you guys did enjoy it be sure to drop a like on it if you guys are new around here make sure to hit the subscribe button and next video is going to be a big one trade deadline and the rest of the year two sim we'll see you in the next one boys